All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Thursday. I love Thursdays. Thursdays are always our biggest, most profitable day, isn't it? Hope you guys have been doing taking care of your journals. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Welcome everybody on YouTube Live, Facebook, Cyber Traders, Cyber Group members. Good to see you all. All right, good, good. By the way, for all you cyber traders in the room, you know we broadcast live, so we do we we, we stream live video. So it's nice if you want to jump on both of them um in the trading room and also uh watch the live streaming so good to see you don't worry phil i won't blame you can't type we i can't type either anyway we're really doing good with this k n i n right wow this thing i mean the k x i n apologize stock i what a great rally four dollar stock um stock is already on one past five it was one of the stocks that were in the morning watch list there was a couple other ones a lot of stuff going on so before we get started just want to talk about what's going on in the market so I, did I not tell you it's going to happen with the election? We're not going to get an answer. We're not going to know what's going to go on. You, you know, once you think you know something about the stock market, I got to my, my friend, one of my mentors, Jane Polizzi, always told me, um, he said, once you know something about the stock market, Fausto, you're going to lose. I'm like, what do you mean? He said, it doesn't matter what Fausto thinks. It doesn't matter what you think. It's what, the, it's what the street thinks. So you have to go out there and you have to kind of look at what's going on in the street. What, what are they thinking? So, What's the big news? So anyway, um, we're not going to know who's going to win the election probably for another week. Okay. There's going to be lawsuits you've seen that's going to be filed like crazy. But why is the market up? Why is the market up? Do they still think it's going to still be a Biden instead of going to be a Trump? No. What's happening is this, is that they believe that the Senate is going to still be run by Republicans. So what does that mean? You know, it's not, I always, I'm not really always a big fan of having one party own all of the of the, of the congresses the president the uh, the senate and the house because you know then that causes you know animosity it's, it's not really you know it, it's nice to have compromise right well the good thing is that if we won't if the, if the republicans own the senate then they're, they're talking about well they can actually get they can't get rid of the, the they can't make these tax hikes that they're talking about so they won't, they won't get rid of the uh, the corporate tax or raise the corporate tax which is what they were very nervous about, you know. That's what the street really cares about. The corporate America really just cares about, you know, the uh, the corporate tax. Uh, Wall Street, excuse me, Wall Street does. So if they own it, you know, he's not going to be able to change any any of the laws because you need both houses to agree. So that is why they're saying the markets have had a really nice rally lately. So listen, there's been some really, 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 really good stocks that have been running up. We had some really good winners. Um, we saw the little bit of a correction that came in. Remember, we are at, what's the Dow at right now? I mean, I know we're up about 350. We're almost at, we're at 28,000. Okay, 28,000. We were just at 26. 26 last week. We bounced almost 2,000 points. Okay, that is huge. We're only about maybe 1,000, 1,500. Remember, 30,000 is a, the all-time high. So we're, we're getting a nice little rally. So the, remember, the street likes that news. All right. So there, there's a lot of stocks that took big hits. I told you this the other day. Maybe it's time to start going. I was getting nervous. I have to admit yesterday. And I was wrong. I thought I was going to sell everything. Get out of my mutuals. I was getting nervous. But when I, when I start listening and what, what the what the experts were saying, they're saying, hey, you know what? It's a, it's a great thing if the Senate. Now, if the Republicans lose the Senate, then we could see a a, a a 20% correction, which is what what, what I told you yesterday. What Bank of America was, America was telling all their clients. So you don't really. That's where all of us got to get nervous. So we already know what's going on. Doesn't look like this going to happen. If it does, then we, we should consider it. But overall, it's been uh, it's been it's been a great market uh, for all of us. And you know what? It's going to get great. And you know what's even better? More people are working from home. More people are realizing they're having the time to trade. I can tell you this. I I can't. Uh, you know, it's unbelievable the interest that, you know, back in the past, people I trained said, you know, Fausto, I can't do it. I would love to trade, but I can't because of, you know, my my office. They block my computer and this and that. Now, I mean, and, and they're like, oh, my God. I could, now everybody wants to do it. Everybody wants to get into it. But, you know, here at Cybertrain University, we're very, very selective who's in the room. One thing, I, and for everybody here watching YouTube, Facebook Live, listen, <laughs> You're not going to find a thousand, two, three thousand traders in our room. A lot of people don't qualify to be in here. We don't want you in there because you're going to hurt yourself. Not only are you going to do damage to the room, but it's not for you. And you know what? That's okay. Please don't don't be insulted. 
I'd rather, wouldn't you rather have a doctor tell you not to do the surgery other than always caring about his own pocket to go out there? And we're going to talk a lot about that today at 12 o'clock, by the way. And you know what? That's a great topic that I want to cover, finding out, finding the right school. So remember, today is open house at Cybertradeverse at 12 o'clock. So let's not miss it. Let's get back to the market and see what's going on because there are a couple of stocks that are moving. We're going to go through it. And uh, I just want to talk about what happened yesterday before we move on. I know you guys did really, really well with a couple of stocks. I want to start with uh, the APVO. Okay, so APVO, you could see that stock just took off in the afternoon. It ran from ten to eighteen dollars. Eighteen, not 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 like twelve. Ten to eighteen, like it was just unbelievable. You guys killed it. It was a level four, level five, though I have to admit. And then obviously you could see after hours it did kick in a little bit. But that was a great fun stock. You guys killed it on APVO here at the Cybertrain Cyber Train University Room. Congratulations to all of you that jumped into it. Remember what I always tell you. Just buy one stinking share. Buy one share. Don't get nervous. You can buy, always buy one share. No one's going to yell at you. You know, no one's going to, you know, listen. It's okay to chase just to know what it feels like, you know, if you feel like uh, you are chasing. All right, so here's another stock, SAVA. We trade this stock many of times. Stock also had a really, really good pop. This was a $3 stock back in September. It ran all the way to 12, came back down to eight, had a nice little run, nine to 12. Not a bad day with, with Sava. Uh, KNDI, remember that one? Blast from the past. That thing, that was a stock that we trade run from four to almost $17. You could see that in not one day, but two days, two days, okay? Well, it did a great, it did a great job on uh, yesterday. It ran from six all the way to nine. And then, you know, and this is why I'm done at 10 o'clock. Look at it, right? Look, after 10 o'clock, would it go uh, maybe up to 11? And it was done, okay? That's trading 101 at its best. Um, all the other stocks that we traded, there was the EV. That one did pretty well, um, but it was an expensive stock. It was something I threw out there. XP, EV. Another one that had a nice little move. And by the way, this one's going back on my watch list. Let me throw it back on there. You see that? This, you know, people always ask me in, in the room, uh, and people always come to Cybertrain University. I'm like, is this just a day trading room? No, it's not just a day trading room. It's a swing trading room also. Anything overnight is an official swing trade. So how do you know how to swing trade? Well, you got to learn how to day trade first. You see that stock's moving over the course of the day. You're like, wow, you know what? The stock's got a nice push. It's got a nice trend. You know, maybe I'm gonna, maybe I want to convert it to my swing trading account, and that's how you basically find stocks like this, which we're going to talk about because there's a couple of good swing trades that are moving also. And then one last stock I want to bring up is LI, but that just had a big, good, nice little pop up and it came right back down. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go to the um, the daily chart and let's go check out what's moving this morning. I want to just hop over here really quick with the H O F V. Okay, so here's a stock that we found in pre-market. Had a really nice pop, buck eighty, went to about four dollars. He's starting to trend down uh, uh, right now. Look at that long-term chart. This stock got crushed. Okay, looks pretty on the long-term chart, but it got crushed. Okay, look at that. The stock. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Hall of Fame Resorts Entertainment. Okay, sounds like uh, something off the Las Vegas Strip line. <laughs> you know, one of those one of those places. Um, stock got hammered. But she had a nice little push. She must came out with some good news. I'm going to keep an eye on it. I love stocks that get hammered. I'm a bottom fish guy. That looks like one right there. Uh, KXIN. That's the one a lot of you guys did really well. Keep an eye on this stock. You know, I'm starting to feel that this stock is going to be an algo stock. And there's going to be a lot of short squeezes going on in the uh, KXIN. She's, go she's, she's going into the market strong. She went from a dollar to thirteen dollars. One of the other stocks that we did really well, Cyber Traders. Remember what I told you? Go what you learn in class. Go to your journals. Check how you trade the stock. Refresh your memory, okay? Because some of you guys did get hurt on this stock, okay? You chased it at eleven and you wrote it down all the way to seven. It happens. It happens. Losing money is a good thing. You know why? Because if you know why you lost, you're not going to do it again. So let's go out there and find out. And also, it, maybe it wasn't for some of you, but you go back and check it. 
see what the category was, see everything else. Because it might not, it might look very tradable now, but then all of a sudden the thing gets like, holy crap, this thing is like, how did it go from a, a category one to a category four? It happens. Another stock, pot stocks. What's going on? They're all moving. I know they legalized it here in New Jersey. Okay, so pot stocks are doing pretty well. TLRY, ACB, Cannabis, all of them. Um, they're up a little bit. Not up huge, you know, but they did come up on my on my watch list. Um, you know, TLRY, you know, number six in the biggest percentage gain of the market. Number uh, seven is ACB, you know. So Cannabis, it look like um, people want to get high and legalize it all over the place. Listen. I'm not here to give you my beliefs on should they legalize it, whatever. At the end of the day, it's a money maker for the states. That's why they pass these things. Uh, listen, how many of you here from Canada? Uh, we have like what 20% of you in the trading world from Canada. It's legalized there. I remember a lot of you when they did that in Canada. You guys were like, you know, we're, we're like flipping out, and some of you are happy. So we, and we said, listen, don't get political, don't whatever it is. Um, the only thing that was pretty interesting about the whole thing about it is that it really didn't do anything. You thought like this was like, you know, this is the, look, a ACB was an $80 stock. It's down to four, okay? So I don't know, maybe they put more more eggs in their basket that they thought this was gonna work out. But, uh, oh yeah, Crohn's too, right? C-O-R-N, forgot about that one. Another one, uh, another pot stock, right? I'll put that one on here, yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go, Josh just put him out. C uh, C CGC is another one. The whole whole little market. I mean, they're not up huge. I mean, like six percent. I mean, like something. If you look what's happened in the market, the market's starting to back off. It's down to two sixty now. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of them out there. There's a bunch of them out there. All right, let's go. Uh, now let, let me talk about some swing trades. Okay, DKNG. Okay, DraftKings was down to thirty five dollars. A lot of us we owned it at sixty five. We sold it at sixty two. We would have lost half our investment. You know what? It tested a big support level. I've always been a big fan of DraftKings. I'm a very big fan of online gambling. Uh, you see, um, that's another one that that's moving pretty well. Um, Barstool, you know, that's another one. By the way, the guy from Barstool, do you know he's a big day trader? But he's not really day trading. Like, you know, I wish I could get it to talk to him. It's like, you know, please, you know, be, be, you got to know what you're doing. You, you know, when you say you're a day trader, because you also swing trades, you know? So you got to be very careful you got to be very specific because a lot of people, you know, they mix and they, and they match. And we all know when you mix, you get sick. All right. So um, you got to be a little more specific of that because you don't want to classify you as a day trader unless you are day trading. You want to classify if you're a swing trader or a day trader. OK. But anyway, uh, but he lost. Uh, he lost. Uh, he, uh, he lost about two million dollars trading, I believe. Pat, he got crushed on it. And, you know, it's so funny. I was like, I, you know, I love to ask him, like, who, who trained you? By the way. Josh, do you guys follow him? The guy from Barstool. So Josh, actually, some guy got his his address, and Josh is a big fan of him in the trading room. You know, this, uh, you know for some of you online, you don't know him. He's one of the instructors. And uh, I'm a fan of him because he goes to all the pizza places, and he kind of critiques it. But he mailed him a cyber clock. He said, you know what? I got to mail this guy a clock. I and, we, and we actually looked at it, right? Um, Josh, I don't think he actually opened it or got to it. But we should mail him another one. Maybe we mail him a mouse pad, you know. But uh, best investment that you can get when it comes to trading. This tells you when to trade, when not to trade. This is what I invented 25 years ago. It has not changed. Okay. All right. Let's go. So we got DraftKings, Ferrari. I told you that one yesterday. Ferrari gapped up pretty big. It was about 170. Look at now. It's about it's up to about 208. It's creeping up. But you'll notice if you watch it, it doesn't really move over the course of the day. It kind of gaps up and gaps down. So that's one thing you got to look at. Uh, XPEV, I put that one in there also, right? Yep. And by the way, I told you this. I bought the CSQ. The CSQ, I got it right around, uh, shoot, what did I get? Like $13, I think I paid. So I bought it 13 major support levels in CSQ. You know, I'm always a big fan of this stock. Why am I a big fan of a stock that doesn't really look like he's doing that much? Well, stock pays 9% a year. I would rather buy this stock than put my money in the bank and get 1% interest. I'd rather get 9% and I get paid every single month in my account on an online mutual fund. Why would I not do that? If it just plays flat, it was great. 
By the way, greatest investment. I think all of us went, we're we'll going drooling out of the mouth when we had that crash because most of us bought around 780 uh, when we had that big correction uh, back in March. So um, I sold it. I, I, I moved it into trade some other stocks, but I'm back in it and uh, I bought a shitload of it, actually, believe it or not. But I might sell it if it gets around 14. Let's see how the market works out. All right. Anything I'm missing, guys, I did not call out. Got to get ready for the open. All right, guys, listen, I got to go. Before I go, though, don't forget, okay? Let me just bring this up for everybody so everybody can see before we go. So two big events. I just want to bring this over for everybody on YouTube and Facebook Live. They can see it also. Don't forget, today, 12 o'clock, open house, live trading session with me personally for an hour. I'm going to teach you how to use level three, level four. If you're watching online right now, click on the bottom and register. If you miss it, that's okay. It'll be recorded. We'll send it to you. Saturday, I'm doing a multi-speaker event, okay? Um, this is uh, Neuro Street. Really great company, great partner. Go out there, register. Please come out and support us. It does, uh, we always, uh, we, we need you guys there, you know, to kind of let, you know, show the power of Cybertrain University. So just go out there and register. We'll send you the link for that one. Uh, some great presenters are going to be there. I got a nice little time slot, 12 o'clock. Hopefully, I'll see you there at 12. So if you're not going to be here during the day today, you can always join us in the afternoon. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Be safe. And I'll see you back here at 12 o'clock. And for everybody in the Cyber Group room, we'll start commentary in five minutes after the open. And just remember, wait the first five minutes. If you see something, you say something. Good luck, everyone. Be safe.